Are you worried that a not so perfect credit score is gonna prevent you from being approved for that apartment? With a little bit of preparation, you can get approved for that perfect apartment. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get approved for an apartment even with a bad credit score. We'll walk you through the two most important things landlords look for in an application. How you can overcome those circumstances if you have a poor credit score or little financial history. And give you all the tools you need to get approved. So if you're looking to rent a place of your own, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. First, a bit of background. The average credit score of an approved renter is 650. And in 2022, the average one bedroom apartment costs $1,200 in the US. What are the two most important things that landlords look for in a renter? First, is this person gonna be able to pay my rent every single month? To assess this, landlords are gonna look at your credit score, income, and past history. First, they're gonna look at your credit score and your credit report. And like I said earlier, the average approved application had a credit score above 650. So what can you do to quickly increase your credit score if it's below 650? First, get a copy of your latest credit report. You can use a resource like annualcreditreport.com or the Cambio app to get your credit report for free. Next, look for late payment, missed payments, or accounts that have gone into collections. Remember, Payment history accounts for 35% or almost 300 points of your credit score. And having accounts in collections or late payments or missed payments can hurt that credit score. I did an entire video on how you can deal with late payments in the link below. Next, if you have an account in collections or charged off status, you have two options. Option one is if you believe the account is inaccurately being reported on your credit report, you can dispute the item. A dispute is you asking the credit bureaus to investigate the account and if it's inaccurate, they must remove it from your credit report in 30 days. We've provided the templates in the description below, or if you need help, just use the Cambio app. Your second option is if you want to pay off or settle the collections account, I did an entire video on how to do a pay to delete. The link is included in the description below. Getting a late, missed, or collections account off of your credit report can increase your credit score by as much as 100 points in as little as 30 to 45 days. Next. To assess whether or not you'll make your payments on time, your potential landlord will look at your income. Here, they wanna see that you have enough money coming in and you have a good track record of employment. They may wanna see a W-2, multiple pay stubs, or even banking statements. One way to get ahead if you have a low credit score is to get a reference letter from your employer. This will bring credibility and show that you're a valued employee to your potential landlord. Plus, it shows them that you're organized and helps build trust early on. Last. Your landlord wants to see that you're reliable in making monthly payments. This is where providing them that bank statement or canceled checks shows multiple on-time payments and it will come in handy. A reference letter from your previous landlord can go a long way. Getting a reference letter can help you prove to your new landlord that you make payments on time and solves the second most important consideration that a landlord has about you, which is, will you take care of their property? Getting this reference letter kills two birds with one stone. Not only are you answering whether or not you'll make payments on time, but it goes a long way in showing that your previous landlord is willing to write a good thing about you and how well you took care of their property. So if you want to dramatically increase your chances of being approved for that new apartment, remember, understand your credit report. Clean up your negative items on your credit report. Get a reference letter from your employer. And finally, get a reference letter from your former landlord. Being prepared with these items will answer the two most important considerations for any landlord. Will you make your payments on time and will you take care of their property? If you have any additional questions or tips, put them in the comment below. At Cambio, our goal is to help you meet your financial goals regardless of your past. Downloading our app is like having a credit coach right in your pocket who's there to make sure your credit score works for you instead of against you. If this video has been helpful, hit that like button and subscribe and watch out for more videos.